Hi, I'm Jackson Warren. Today in this video, we're going to cover uh, a few things. Uh, unpacking and setting up uh, FAA rules, getting familiar with your drone, getting ready for your first uh, site measurement, uploading imagery and final reports. Before you purchase a drone, you want to make sure that your site is not in a no-fly zone. The best way to check to see if your site is in a no-fly zone is to go to the App Store and download the Air Map for Drones app. One of the drones that we officially support is the Phantom 4. To open the case, there's a, a latch to turn, twist, and open. First you'll notice the DJI Phantom 4. Your RC or remote control. Blades. Charger. Batteries. DJI officially comes with one battery installed. These two I purchased separately. It also comes with a cord to connect to your computer. All the literature information you need to fly your drone, getting started. And adapter to be able to connect the cord to your drone. Notice that the DJI Phantom 4 comes with this extra set of blades. Push down and lock. To remove the battery, press down on the top and bottom buttons at the same time to release the battery. Notice that the grooves are on the top. You want to make sure that the batteries are fully charged. You can do that by checking the button, seeing this battery needs to be charged. This battery is fully charged. To do so, you will plug into the wall and plug this in into the battery. The Phantom 4 comes with what's called intelligent flight batteries that can tell you how many times they've been charged and they take about an hour and a half to charge. When unboxing the Phantom 4, you'll notice that it has some literature, all of which is inside. Anything that you need to know as far as batteries and placing blades on is within this quick start guide. We set up a link with Amazon.com to purchase the drone and the extra batteries. Then we'll ship them directly to your office. In order to successfully measure your stockpiles, we recommend using the iPad Mini. You can also use newer iPads or iPhones. Manually flying your whole site with the drone is very tricky. You will need an autopilot app. We recommend Map Pilot. The Map Pilot app is only available for newer iOS devices. Some things that don't come with the Phantom 4. We recommend the lithium polymer bag or LiPo bag for safe travel, including airplanes or in your car. Make sure that your batteries are stored at 30% and placed in the bag and sealed appropriately. You will also need a cord to connect your iPad or iPhone to the radio control device. Here I'm using the one that came with my iPad mini. There are some FAA requirements that you need to know before you fly your drone. For all the information that you need, please go to FAA.gov. The best way to familiarize yourself on the basics of drone operation is to watch the Phantom 4 video tutorials on the DJI University website. They have everything you need to get comfortable with flying your drone.
Once you get back to your office, you'll want to unpack your drone and upload the imagery. Your drone comes with a USB to micro USB. You'll plug in the micro USB here. and USB directly into your computer. Double click on the Macintosh hard drive, drive down to the SD card, select DCIM 100 media, highlight one of the files inside the folder, hit control A to select all, and then copy. Now you want to right click on the background, add new folder. I recommend naming the folder the site name. Once you do this, paste the items into the folder. Double click on the UAV stockpile sync jar file. At this point, you'll click on the login ID and enter your credentials for Stockpile Reports. Click OK. Once the UAV Report Sync pops up, click Choose Open File Sync Folder. Double click Desktop. and highlight the site name. Click Choose. Double click on the yellow highlighted line. Select Collect Type to UAV, Site Name, Scaling Method. Scaling Method should be GPS from Plain or Good, and Collection Date. Click OK. Now sync stockpile data from computer to server. Once you see 1% on the upload for status progress, you know that your files are being uploaded. The upload process for Windows computers is very simple. Plug in the USB cable to your drone and the other end into the USB port on your computer or laptop. Open Windows Explorer. Find the drive for your drone memory card under this PC and select it. Open the DCIM folder, then the Media 100 folder. Select all the images and then right click and select Copy. On your desktop, create a new folder and paste all copied images into it. Once this is done, Select the UAV Stockpile Sync Jar app and log in as you had prior. After our cloud-based system processes your flight imagery, you'll receive a notification email. Log in to the website and click on the Aerial tab. Locate your site in the list and click the Results button on the far right. On this screen, you'll see a stitched image of your whole flight. Our system marks all your piles automatically. Review each pile to ensure the boundaries of the pile are sufficiently contained. Then assign the appropriate product type for each pile. When you're done, click the Submit for Reports button. The next day, you'll receive an email notification that your pile measurement reports are ready for viewing. You will receive an Aerial Alerts email stating reports posted. Click the Aerials tab. Click link under Results for corresponding site to view site-wide stitched image. Click on Pile to pull up detailed individual reports. 
The report detail screen contains all your pile measurement details, a clickable high-res image, and an interactive 3D model. Additionally, we highlight any potential measurement risk you might have from things like vegetation, standing water, equipment, and more. With Stockpile Reports, you will always be in the know. You can see how easy it is to effectively measure your large stockpiles by using the Phantom 4 coupled with MapPilot. If you have any questions, you can email us at support at stockpilereports.com. Thanks for watching.